Hi there. Good morning. It's Christine Van Gein, Litigation Director for the Canadian Constitution Foundation. And today I want to bring you along with me. I'm on my way to one of my favorite events of the year. Uh, it's now called the Canada Strong and Free Networking Conference. It was formerly known uh, as the Manning Conference. It's a great event where uh, organizations, nonprofits who are nonpartisan from all across Canada gather in Ottawa to sort of sort of showcase their work. And some of our political leaders sometimes show up as well. It's a great opportunity to meet a huge variety of people, learn about all of their work. I've actually been going to this conference. I've been almost every year. I've missed maybe one or two years uh, since it started. I don't even know how long ago. I'm going to look it up now. Um, but I thought I'd bring you with me so that you could see what the conference is all about, what it's like, and meet some of the really fascinating people who are there. in Ottawa. I've checked into my hotel. I'm on my way over now to the first day of the conference. The first day is something called the Best Practices Forum, which is where charities and nonprofits and people who work for them come by invitation only to talk about, well, our best practices and learn from each other. And I'm going to be presenting today. It's about the issue of financial chill. I've written an op-ed about that issue in the National Post following the Emergencies Act when accounts were frozen. A lot of people expressed concern about making donations to registered charities across Canada. And so I'm going to talk in my presentation today about which of those concerns are, are real and grounded in something. Most of them are, are, not, are not reasonable concerns. We're all registered charities. Uh, and what concerns we really should have. So I'm going to be talking about that issue and meeting a lot of people from across Canada who are involved in the right of center uh, charity and nonprofit world. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, this is where I have to leave you. I'm heading in now. Um, but if you want to attend this, you can always apply to register. Hi there, I'm here with Troy Lanigan now, who is the new CEO, president of the Manning Foundation. So we're going to chat with him about what the Manning Foundation is, how it's connected to the Canada Strong and Free Networking Conference, and what it's all about. So Troy, tell me, can you tell me what the Manning Foundation is and what its sort of mission is? Well, it's, it's focused mostly on uh, best practices um, and communications uh, for the movement. Um, and what one of the key activities that we undertake each year is a best practices exchange, which are for practitioners. So it's politically neutral, whether you're talking about fundraising or coalition building or other such things. And so we have a couple of exchanges a year like this that just focus on how people can improve their skills and participation in the democratic process. This presentation today is sort of invitation only. How do people get invited if they want to attend uh, you know, next year. Well, I get on our list. Uh, we invite a lot of different people from across the country to participate in these events. If you're interested in this type of discussion around improving your your skills to be more effective as um, whether you're an advocacy group, a think tank, any part of civil society that advances public policy, uh, welcome to attend. And so we invite 
people from all sorts of backgrounds and from different parts of the country to participate. Well, this is always one of my favorite events of the year, and it's so great to see my friend Troy. And I, I encourage everybody to come every year because it's really one of the best events. I hope to see you next year. So I'm here now with my friend Colin Craig. He's with a charity called Second Street. And Colin, I want to ask you, what is Second Street? I love your t-shirt, by the way. <laughs> Freedom is good. I agree. So what is Second Street? What do you guys do? And what's your favorite part of the Manning Conference? So we're a, a public policy think tank. And what we do is we look into government policies and we talk to everyday people to see about how those policies are affecting them at the grassroots level. So we tell lots of stories about patients in the healthcare system, businesses and how they're affected by government regulations, those types of things. So people can find our work at secondstreet.org, obviously. And the best thing I think about this conference is I love the networking, just having a chance to meet with people, hearing different ideas, hearing their their thoughts about different uh, government policies. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> thanks for answering my questions, Colin. It's good to see you. Uh, Colin and I actually worked together briefly uh, a few years ago when I was at the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. So that's I agree. The networking is one of the networking is one of my favorite parts of the conference because I get to reunite with a lot of old friends. Okay, now I'm here with my friend Scott Hennig from the Canadian Tax Heroes Federation. It's a not-for-profit that I used to work for, actually. So Scott used to be my boss, but he isn't now. Although I was just on a panel where he asked me a bunch of questions about financial chill. So I'm technically still answering to Scott after all these years. Um, so Scott, I want to ask you, uh, what is the Canadian Tax Heroes Federation all about and what is your favorite part of the Manning Conference? The Canadian Tax Heroes Federation is uh, Canada's largest, oldest, and most successful taxpayer or uh, advocacy organizations. We were founded in 1990. We're dedicated to lower taxes, less government waste, and more government accountability. Oh, and my favorite part of the conference, I like going to the Best Practices Forum because I think that getting real takeaways here is important and, and sharing best practices and our knowledge within the network is is uh, really what sort of the big value add for me. Um, I mean, Christine, you were just on this excellent panel. I think there was lots of good takeaways uh, that you gave as well as the other panelists. And, and I really look forward to uh, spending a lot more time during this conference uh, reconnecting with folks and chatting. I'm probably not even going to go to the other sessions. I'm just, I did best practices. That's the best ones. Now I'm just going to chat with people. So I thought you were going to say your favorite part of the conference is the Canadian Tax Service Federation hospitality suite, the beer and popcorn hospitality suite, uh, which is taking place on Friday night. But I report live from there. <laughs> I actually probably will because I assume I'm going to have lots of people I know there that I'm going to chat with. So I'm at the Manning Best Practices Forum, and I just ran into my friend Aaron Gunn. He is the director and producer of a show called Politics Explained. That's on YouTube, right? YouTube and Facebook. Okay, I'm going to drop a link in the description. And um, I just wanted to ask Aaron, tell me about your show and tell me about what your favorite part of the conference is. Well, the conference is just getting started, I guess. So we'll see. I'm really looking forward to the debate tonight. It's going to be exciting. We've got Pierre Pauli of Jean Charest. It's going to be awesome. We're going to see them going at it and see some different uh, kinds of conservatives debating, discussing, and defending their conservative values and ideals. So I'm very excited about that. As far as my show, Politics Explained, we're currently working on season three. We've got six brand new episodes talking about everything from our resource sector to debt and finances and uh, the incredible fiscal burden uh, currently facing this country with obviously me and uh, Christine worked on at the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. So that's what that's all about and excited to be here in Ottawa and running into old friends like you. So be sure to like and subscribe to Aaron's channel. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the debate a lot as well. I'm hoping this weekend I'm going to get a chance to talk to all the candidates and ask them each a question. Anyway, thanks for chatting, Aaron. It was great running into you. Great run into you as well. So I'm here now with Tony Clement, who actually I used to work for back in 2008, I you're, think, you're 2007. FS. Oh, oh, what? Former staffer. Yeah, that's true. Uh, back here in Ottawa, like a long, long time ago. And now Tony and I actually both have television shows on the news forum. Why don't you tell our viewers about your show sure. and what it's all about and what your favorite part of coming to the Manning Conference, the Canada Strong and Free Conference is? Well, uh, my show is called Boom and Bust. It is a business news and views and, e and economics news and views show. So I 
try to take things rather than this is what happened in question period this week. It's more what what is the impact on our economy? And we've got so many issues now, whether it's inflation or housing costs, all the big tech issues as well I try to tackle. So that's pretty well what I try to do. And we've had some great guests uh, in the past, and uh, they've included former Prime Minister Mulroney and uh, former CIA Director Petraeus, but also uh, tech startup people who are doing some really neat stuff in our tech sector. So I'm enjoying that a lot. What I like about the Manning Conference, to me, this is like this is like the conservative movement kind of letting their hair down a little bit, uh, pardon the pun. But, you know, when you go to a, a conservative party conference, things are pretty hemmed in. Mm-hmm. You know, the discussion topics are within a certain parameter and uh, the party itself doesn't want anything to go off the rails because then it redounds onto the leader uh, or to the caucus or what have you. Here we can talk about what we want to talk about, how we want to talk about it, it's not going to have a negative impact on the party per se, but it's going to deepen the discussion that is necessary for conservatism to be a viable, interesting, thoughtful kind of dialogue that we need in this country. Well, thanks so much, Tony, for sharing your views. Thanks. For sure. So the Best Practices Forum just wrapped up. That's the invite-only portion of the conference. We're now heading into the general conference is going to start with something really exciting. It's going to be a leadership debate for the Conservative Party. Um, there are several of the candidates. There's one candidate who didn't make it. Uh, I'm looking forward to the debate, to hearing what the candidates are all going to talk about. I mean, I'm not partisan, so I really don't have a horse in this race, other than I care a lot, I care very deeply about a lot of public policy issues related to civil liberties. So I'm going to see what the candidates say about that, and hopefully I can catch them after to ask them a question. Next up, we have the former Premier of Quebec, Mr. Jean Charest.